Hey, how's it going guys? Ramon here. Today we're going to focus on two words, Abizia and Surf, and what they have to do with each other. Let's dig a little deeper. Over 20,000 acres of Oahu is infested with Albizia. Albizia is considered an invasive species, meaning it negatively affects our economy, environment, human health, and quality of life. They can live in a variety of habitats, reproduce rapidly, aggressively compete for resources, and lack natural enemies in the new environment. Other organizations around the island of Oahu have taken an interest in using Albizia to create sustainable products from surfboards to its inclusion in this year's Festival of the Pacific taking place at the Hawaii Convention Center June the 6th through the 16th. In today's episode, we travel to Bizia Surf and Coffee Bar located at 401 North Kane Street in the heart of Vahiva to meet with co-founder Christine and gain some insight on their mission. Hi everybody, I'm Christine, the co-founder of Bizia, and we're here at our showroom. Uh, you can see Albizia featured in a lot of different aspects of our uh, location and also in our surfboards. We worked with Dick Brewer starting about 10 years ago to learn his legendary technology in creating the chambered wood surfboard and we've utilized that in a few different shapes that we have on display here. We also have some traditional surfboards, the Alaya and the Pipo boards, as well as different merchandise and obviously our craft coffee, which is one of the biggest draws to our showroom. Yeah, so Bezia is a play on Albizia, which is our state's most prolific invasive species. Our state spends millions and millions of dollars cutting these trees down every year, and the bulk of that goes either to the landfill or just is left in place to degrade or is mulch. So in the, all of these cases, it's releasing carbon back into the air, and it's kind of a wasted resource. So we wanted to create products that could recapture that waste stream to help build and create a more resilient economy for our vulnerable island community. So we uh, are usually contacted by arborists and they have between 100 to 200 logs that are available for us to come pick up or they drop off at our sawmill. We mill the wood, we dry it, uh, we develop and design products to make out of it, and then we try to utilize it from windows and door packages to siding to surfboards to picture frames. We've created all kinds of products to utilize this material to support local jobs, reduce landfill deposit, and reduce import dependence. Wow, that's really cool. So how have you, um, with some of the shapes uh, you have to offer, you were saying mm -hmm. you, work, you work with like brands like I see Dick Brewer, I see a Meyer uh, board right there. Mm -hmm. So has it been like working with that type of sustainable wood? Ha has it been like any difficulties um, versus like working with normal wood, like balsa or anything like that? Or is it all the same? Yeah, I think one of the challenges is when you're working with any raw material, um, you're gonna have variances in its weight and um, its density, things like that. So it's definitely been a learning experience. This is our first long board that we did and our first short board that we did. So there definitely was a lot to learn along the way. Many of the shapers we work with aren't woodworkers. And my husband, Joey Valente, who's my other co-founder, he is a woodworker. So it was a lot of working together to kind of bridge that knowledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really cool. And tell us a little bit about the architecture of the um, place itself, because when I walked in, I was immediately greeted with, I think these are what, 40, 40 foot high ceilings mm -hmm. and just the airy vibe. And so, yeah, tell us about how you were able to include, um, you know, the sustainability and using the Albizia wood and the architecture of the place itself. Yeah, so we definitely wanted it to be um, a good workflow and, and community flow for events. Um, there aren't a lot of spaces in Wahiwa for art shows and live music, and that was something we really wanted to have here was a space for the community. Um, so we wanted to have the bottom floor as open as possible and have seating upstairs. We have gallery walls upstairs. And obviously we wanted to highlight Albizia. A lot of people are aware of how um, you know, damaging and all the negative effects of Albizia, but they don't realize how pretty it is yeah. as far as like architectural millwork and interior applications go. So that was something we really wanted to feature so that people can see like, wow, it's beautiful and it's worth our effort to utilize to support our economy. Awesome. Thank you, Christina. Mm -hmm. And again, um, if when we want to visit, where are you located at again? We're here at 401 North Kane Street in Wahiwa. It's in the industrial center. You're going to see the DMV and the police 
station, you keep going through into the industrial center, you'll see our Albizia wood facade. And actually right across the way in building B is where we manufacture all of our products. Awesome. And if we wanted to give you a follow on social media, where can we find you? At Bezia Surf. Awesome. Thank you, Christina. Yeah, thank you. Aloha. Hey guys, Ramon here. Thank you all for tuning in to today's video. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date with what's happening here on Oahu. If you would like to watch more videos, check out our playlist. And last but not least, consider becoming a member of the Wahoo Surf Films Ohana.